Can you create a website for free? That's what we're going to look into in today's video. The short answer to the question is yes, but obviously the website builder companies are businesses looking to make a profit. So they offer free plans in most cases, hoping that at some point you'll upgrade to a paid plan. So with each of the different options, they have some pros and cons and what they decide to hold back for their free plans. So what I wanted to do in today's video is highlight some of those differences. So what are the pros and cons of the free website builders? to help you narrow down the list to figure out which one you want to build your website with. One quick thing before we get going, our YouTube channel and website is partially supported through affiliate commissions. Affiliate commissions are essentially if you use the links that are down below for any of the website builders and upgrade to a paid plan, we might earn a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. So if you're interested in supporting our channel, you can definitely um, check out the different website builders down below in the description. So I have 10 free website builders for you today. This does not include website builders that only have a two week free trial, such as Squarespace or Shopify. Those are some of our favorites when it comes to paid website builders. But when it comes to free options, those are not part of our list. So the 10 options I have for you today in alphabetical order are Card, GoDaddy, Google Sites, Jimdo, Square Online, Ucraft, Webflow, Webnode, Weebly, and Wix. So I hate to tell you of the 10 options we're gonna talk about today, they're all businesses. They're not nonprofits. They're not here to just give you something for free and get nothing in return. So basically how they're hoping to make money from your website are basically twofold. They're hoping that if they hold back certain features as you begin to grow in weeks or months into the future, that you'll want to upgrade to a paid plan so that they can make a monthly or annual subscription fee uh, from your website. Then the next way is by placing ads on your website, hoping to convert your website visitors into paying clients building websites on their platform. So what I'll do today is show you some of the different things to look out for as far as depending on what's important to you and the website you're building, uh, which functionality um, is gonna be included in which, which different options. And then also show you how intrusive or not so intrusive some of the ads are that the website builders will be putting on your website. Now we're gonna go through some of the things that are included or excluded that could be deal breakers for you. The first of which is e-commerce functionality. So are you looking to sell something on your website? This is excluded for the majority of free website builders. The next thing could be any limits to bandwidth or storage. So this is something that can really put you in a bind because imagine if you reach the bandwidth limit and so it's the 20th of the month, there's 10 days left in the month and they're not gonna show your website unless you upgrade to a paid plan. The storage limit, it could be, hey, I wanna add one more picture to my website, but if I do that, I hit the storage limit. These are frustrating because in the moment you want to make your website better or have more traffic and you need to pay to continue showing your website. And then the next thing is a limit for the number of pages created. So one of the options is just a one page website builder, the free option, and that's also a really inexpensive paid option. And then one of the other free website builders only allows you to build five pages on the free website. So those that could be a deal breaker depending on how big you're planning on having your website. And then the last thing is connecting a custom domain. So this is something that is excluded for most free website builders, but can be important and makes your website look more professional. So a custom domain is essentially mybusiness.com instead of say mybusiness.weebly.com. So let's go through these in more detail one by one. The first, e-commerce functionality. So if this is really important to you, there's really two options, uh, Square Online and Weebly. Square actually bought Weebly, I think it was a year or two ago. So it's essentially the same company. They might end up merging together at some point, but the great thing here is Square started out as a payment processor. So their goal is for you to sell stuff and use them as a payment processor. They make money that way. So both of those website builders allow you to sell things on the free version of their website builders. So the next potential deal breaker would be bandwidth or storage limits. There's three website builders on this list, Jimdo, Webnode, and Wix. So those are the three that offer some type of limits where you could all of a sudden middle of the month or wanted to upload an extra image might run out and need to upgrade to a paid plan. So moving on to deal breaker number three, page limits. So Card is a website builder meant for just one page websites. That's it. They're paid options, same thing. The nice thing with Card is if you're just creating a one page website, it's an amazing option. Their paid plans are $9 a year is where it starts out at. So way, way cheaper than most other paid website builders. But the, the free option is essentially the same thing. One page free website. And then the next one is Jimdo. So Jimdo's free plan only allows you to add 
five pages to your website. So if you need more pages than that, I would not include either of those on your list of potential website builders. Okay, so one other thing that could be a potential deal breaker is the actual URL, the domain for your website. So the best is to have your own website and a custom domain, so jeffsbiz.com. But, you know, having your own custom domain, you can't get a free website and a free domain, so it's going to cost you $12 a year or so to have your own domain. We usually end up buying our domains from Namecheap. I'll link to that down below if you want to check out purchasing a domain from there. But the thing is with the website builders, most of them will give you a free subdomain. So it's going to be jeffsbiz.websitebuilder.com. So jeffsbiz.weebly.com as an example. So most of them are going to include something like that. The Wix websites, on the other hand, look something like this. So this is much, much longer. And for me, that would just be a deal breaker. If I was building a free website, I would not want something that looks like this. You know, that's one of the drawbacks with creating a website with Wix. I love their website builder for paid plans, but between that and some of the, the storage or bandwidth issues, you know, I would just end up going with something else. And then on the positive side, if you do want a custom domain, there's two options. So Google Sites, you can connect a custom domain. The thing with Google Sites though, is that it's more of like a class project or maybe something you share information with your colleagues, not something I would necessarily use for an external facing, say business or personal brand though. The one option where you can connect a custom domain and they do have a pretty solid website builder would be Ucraft. If you want a custom, you have a custom domain that you wanna to connect to a free website, that might be an option worth checking out. Okay, so that I think covers the major kind of deal breakers that could be in terms of functionality between the different website builders. So e-commerce, e-storage, page limits, uh, bandwidth limits, or you know being able to connect a custom domain or not. Now I wanna go over what they're gonna be putting on your website in terms of an ad, and you can decide if it's too intrusive or not, and maybe wanna go with a different option. So what do you think of the 10 options? Which one would you use to build your website? Let me know down below in the comment section. I think for me, it would either be Square, Weebly, maybe Card or Ucraft. But I mean, I think there's a lot of good options. It just depends on what you're looking for. If you wanna learn more about building your own website, we have a whole playlist with tons of other content for you. If you're interested in checking that out, I'll link to along the side right here. Hope to see you in those in future videos. Bye-bye.